If I had the chance to visit my 18-year-old self, what would I tell myself? Number one, don't stop writing. Keep writing. If you are a fan to my channel, I will go into more detail about that on another day. But Orpheus, don't stop writing. Number two, stay away from White Castle. <laughs> White Castle is the devil at, at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> when you're drunk. <laughs> Do not apply for every credit card that is offered to you. You guys, I had the Visa, the MasterCard, the Discover card, the American Express, the Best Buy card, the Target card, the Walmart card, the, the Gap card, <laughs> the Old Navy card. <laughs> Y'all! Bankruptcy's not a joke. Hashtag fuck bankruptcy. And lastly... Don't fuck around with Scott. He's a waste of time. Nothing comes from Scott. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Orpheus, 18 years old. You know, this is, this is, this is past 18. But <laughs> you're going to let Scott borrow some of your CDs. And then you break up with him. Before he gave you the CDs back. Oh, motherfucker. Ahoy, ahoy, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The O Show. I'm O, and I'm here for your amusement. Okay, you guys, so like... I'm sorry. <laughs> I had chap lips. Okay, look, you guys, so... um, Earlier this week, I did another AMC screen unseen, okay? And that's that thing where they just literally tell you that they're going to show a movie on a certain night and time. And here's the rating, but we're not going to tell you what the movie is, right? And so I just did that recently with this movie Slingshot. So um, I saw on the website another one was coming because I didn't know this like screen unseen thing existed. So I went and kind of did some research and it seemed to be like a quarterly thing from the responses that people were giving. So I was really shocked when I saw that another one was coming up like really quick. So I was like, oh shit, well, I'll, I'll go see another movie again, right? So me and my boo, uh, hey Michelle, hey girl, uh, we went to go see another screen on scene. And this time, it ended up being the movie, My Old Ass. <laughs> now look, you guys, so serious. Like, I, I don't remember what movie I went to go see. But, you know, you got to sit through like 20, 30 minutes of credits of upcoming films. But there was one movie that actually showed the trailer to this movie. And I remember watching it and I was just like, okay, I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to rush to the theater to see it. I'll just wait for it to like come out later, right? And then it ended up being this movie. So I had to sit my ass. I had to sit my old ass through this movie called My Old Ass. So, I guess that was some karma <laughs> that came around. All right. So, anyway, like I said, I saw earlier this week. If you're seeing this video, it should be Friday, Friday the 13th, when this movie is actually uh, premiering. Um, so, with all that said... <laughs> I was not mad at this movie, guys. I actually kind of really liked it. Like, again, I 
watching the trailer, I was like, ah, I could wait. But now that I had to sit through it, <laughs> courtesy of AMC, um, I do have to actually, it, it was a good movie. I actually really did enjoy it. So let's talk about it. <laughs> so My Old Ass stars Maisie Stella. And I'm look. I've, okay, so I, as I watched the movie, I feel like I knew the girl, but then I'm like, I don't know who she is. So I had to look it up after the movie, and it turns out um, the only thing I recognize her from is this show Nashville that used to star Connie Britton and Hayden Papa Papa Dubadaba. I, I I forgot Hayden's last name, but um, but I don't. I don't remember Maisie. <laughs> was she like a younger sister? Like I don't know. Was she like a uh, like a dog hair in my mouth? Was she like a um, a younger pop star? Like I, I I don't know. I don't know. But I did watch Nashville until the story got all crazy and then the show was canceled. So I felt like I knew her, but I I, I must have seen her on the way. But. She's in other things. She she does music too, so maybe you guys know her from that, but <laughs> I don't know who that girl is. But she did a really good job in this movie. Like I, I had no problems with her. Her acting was fine. Um I will get into the story a little later, but uh other than that, I, I liked her in this movie. It was really she, she, she was really cute. <laughs> The movie also stars Aubrey Plaza, who we all know from uh, Parks and Rec. Now, to be honest, I have not watched Park, Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. <laughs> so, just like I didn't watch The Office, but, you know, I finally did last year. Yeah, so there's a video about that. If you have not seen my review of the whole series of The Office... Watching it for the first time after all these years, like, go check it out. <laughs> so, I do have, I think it's streaming on Peacock, I think. I might be wrong. But, whatever streaming service the uh, Parks and Rec is, is on, I will watch it. But anyway, I do like Aubrey Plaza. I've seen her in other things. Um, I, I, I thought she was fine in this movie. And there is this guy whose name I can't think of right now. It's this kid right here. Um, I did. I did feel like I've seen him in in other things, and so I had to look it up. And he was in um, the recent Wednesday series that was showing on Netflix, right? Season two coming soon, by the way. I've heard. I've heard. I think it is. <laughs> but other than that, the only other thing that was on his list of credits was this movie called um, A Christmas Horror Story. And I think I'm going to do a review on that this Christmas season. But that's a really good movie. I actually do, really do enjoy that movie. So keep that in mind. A Christmas Horror Story. We are going to talk about Christmas 2024. Now, everyone else's movie, like I have no idea who the hell they are. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had time to like look them up, but I did enjoy the performance of the mother. Um, I did like the part of the mother. I don't know who this lady is, but she was fine. And then um, Maisie's character, and Maisie plays this character named Elliot. So Elliot has these two best friends. And um, out of the two girls, there was this one that kind of... I feel like she she got more screen time than the other one. But this, the, the time she was on screen, like, she was hilarious. So, like, this girl right here, like, she was funny. I liked her. Okay, you guys, so look. So, the movie is about these... Uh, well, it's about Elliot. And she has these two friends. And Elliot is going off to college soon from... Oh, shit. What the, what the hell state is she in? I don't remember, but she's going from, like, wherever her home is to Toronto. And uh, before that happens, she... So, her family owns a cranberry farm, right? So, they're harvesting cranberries, which is really funny because you ever see those, like, ocean spray commercials with people in water with a whole bunch of cranberries around them? And I used to be like, what the hell is that? But apparently, that's, that's how you harvest them, I guess? Because that was happening in this movie. So I was like, oh. 
So Ocean Spray just wasn't making like a shit commercial of nonsense. This is exactly what they do with cranberries. Okay. <laughs> okay, look, you guys. So, so Maisie and her friends, um, the movie starts out with Maisie going to a, well, her and her friends are going to like this island and they're camping and it's her birthday. And so they decide they're going to have these drugs from whatever country they're from. They don't even know. One girl thinks it's from Africa. <laughs> One girl thinks it's from this. And so they have these, uh, they, 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 they boil the drugs in a tea. And they drink the tea and they're all tripping. <laughs> so as this one's tripping over here and this one's tripping over here, Maisie's like, I don't feel anything, right? And this is the same shit that's happened to me. From like fucking like, Eighth grade, people used to be like, "Oh, Orphan, you gotta smoke weed. You gotta smoke weed." And I was like, "Okay, peer pressure." <laughs> Until I was like, in, even my thirties, I'll smoke weed, and I'll be just be, be sitting there looking at other people tripping. I'll just be like, "And I was, I'm supposed to feel something, right?" <laughs> and then it, it was late in life, you guys. I learned that. Smoking weed does nothing for you. My body is immune to it. Nothing. And then I learned that I have to actually eat it. So I have to eat like edibles and treats and cakes and candy and all those stuff. <laughs> Whatever. So that's another reason I like this movie. It just kind of reminded me of my drama. So Maisie's sitting there thinking like, okay, well, I'm not tripping. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Nothing's happening to me. But then all of a sudden this lady appears next to her. And then she learns that this is her 39-year-old self from the future. <laughs> so she's like, look, uh, yep, I had this scar, and this happened to me when, you know, us, the way we were nine, and this happened to us, the way we were this age. And so she's like, oh my god, this is crazy. She's like, yeah, so I need to tell you some things, that, you know, this is what I am at this time in the future, and blah, blah, blah. But... There was this one thing she needed to say. And she said, Do not fuck around with a guy named Chad. <laughs> That's all you need to know. And so Maisie, oh, not Maisie. What's her name? Elliot. <laughs> so Elliot's like, okay. So blah, blah, blah happens. And she actually does meet an Elliot. So the rest of the movie is just pretty much us as the viewers trying to think like why should she meet this guy Elliot like and the whole time and I'm not going to spoil it you know what I decided I'm going to make this a, a, a spoil free review but I know for me I was like is this ass going to knock her up and leave <laughs> bastard men but um no he doesn't knock her up and leave but I will let you guys figure that out when you watch it but yeah, like the whole movie is pretty much just her coming to terms with how she really f feels and treats her family. Because um, I'll admit, I'm one of those people. I love my family. I love my. I have a huge family on my mom's side, and then my dad's side is not as huge, but they're there. You know, like I love them. Oh, that sounds awful. But <laughs> I don't. I don't mean that. But I mean like. I love them. I love that side of the family. It's not as big as my mom's, but they're my family, right? And I need to do better on being that person because I, I am that family member who makes appearances every like 10 years. Like, and in my, in our, on my dad's side of the family, it might be like 20 years. Like, there was a period where I lost track of everybody. <laughs> and thank you to Facebook, I found some people and I have, I have rejoined my family for a couple occasions. But, 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 I am that person where I really do not have a problem sitting in an apartment or a house or a room, like, <laughs> just alone. Like, I'm, <laughs> there, was a, there, was, there was a lot of time of me growing up before my brother was born where I was just the only child. And then, you know, I would hang out with people, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of the day, I would come home and I'm alone. Like, <laughs> and I loved it. So... Uh, it's, there's that whole isolation thing where you get to that certain age and you're like, yes, my family is here, but go away. You know, get the fuck out of my room. Why are you touching my stuff? Okay, mom, whatever. You know, 
<laughs> and then, so as the movie's playing, like, I, I don't know if anyone else felt this, but I, I really did kind of, like, reflect on, on the shit of my childhood. Like, well, maybe I could have been a lot nicer. And uh, Whatever, I was there. I love y'all. <laughs> so, I, I do like that aspect. Now, the only negative things I probably have to say about this movie... And I was not being very judgmental because I'm a very judgmental person coming to, when it comes to movies and things making sense. Um, there's just this thing of like the older Aubrey put her, puts her phone number in this girl's phone and now they can communicate with each other. And I was like, okay. So I thought she just had to keep getting high and high and high through the movie, but I guess she don't. Is that a spoiler? That's not a spoiler. I probably spoiled the movie. But, um, and then it just, I, I don't know, like, this, this Aubrey person, no, what's her name? Maisie and Aubrey Plaza, they don't really look alike. So I was like, well, even if this girl grows up to be this girl, I do they, they don't, they don't resemble each other. <laughs> I still love the Maisie person in this role, but if you're supposed to be a younger version of Aubrey Plaza, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. <laughs> Other than that, you guys, like, the, the humor was there. It was pretty funny. The romance is there. Wait, what romance? Oh, is that a spoiler too? I should just change it to a spoiler alert video. <laughs> And the drama's there. So there's lots of drama. Um, but I was, but in the end, in the end, you know, again, you're like, fuck Chad. What the fuck did you do, Chad? I hate you, but I don't hate you, but I do. So that was a fun thing. You're just trying to figure out what the hell happened. And then when you figure out what happens, you're like, oh, no. And I think that's where the crying and the waterworks comes. But I was I was good, y'all. I didn't cry. <laughs> So, um, yes, I think in the end, if I was to rate my old ass, which is really funny because this movie, like today is the 13th, I have yet to see a trailer for this movie. And then I guess I have to, I have to kind of think like, can TV show this trailer and be like, my old ass. In theaters this Friday. <laughs> Can you say ass on TV? <laughs> Maybe that's why it's... I haven't seen a trailer for it on TV. Because... Whatever. So... I think I'm going to give this movie... I'm going to give it 3 out of 5. You can have these 3 shots. Um, it's a fun watch. Do I need to see it again? No. If it came on and I had nothing else to watch, I'll probably put it back on and then go vacuum my floor. Because, you know, I've seen the movie. I can have it on some background sound. And um, I'll sit down once in a while and just kind of watch it again. So, it was really cute. Like, she has, like, she has these brothers. They have some cute moments. And, um, what else? There's a dad, but, you know, he's doing dad things. But, I mean, other than that, like, the story's cute. The story's cute, so I, I will give it that. So, I, I was not mad at it and stuff like that. So, uh, cheers. <laughs> okay. Ugh. So, um, okay, hold on. Whew. Okay, we have two. <laughs> Uh oh. Someone's coming. Where is she? What are you doing? Are you gonna come up here? Huh? You might as well. You're gonna come up here eventually. Hi, Phoebe! Hi, Phoebe! Alright, you guys, so um, let me know in the comments if you heard of my old ass. Uh. <laughs> Are you gonna watch my old ass? Uh, have you seen my old ass? And uh, let me know in the comments below. 
But yeah, it was cute. It was cute. Like, you know. I don't I don't necessarily gonna I'm not gonna say it's a rom com. <laughs> I actually really don't know how to categorize this movie. It's a, is it coming to age? I'm going to say it's a coming of age. I believe it at that because, yeah. I feel like a lot of us will reflect on our childhood and be like, damn, I was an asshole when I was 18. <laughs> I know I did. All right, so, um, yes, let me know in the comments. And uh, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next episode, right? You gonna see me in the next episode? Okay, you guys, so until then, TTFN. <laughs>